What's going on everybody? This is Patrick with Mid 10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? Okay, so kind of gone camping this weekend. Was thought about it. And then I thought uh, another thing, I have not gone through the stuff in the truck. Um, plus, the truck needs some attention. Can do some headlight work. Probably do that tomorrow with Chase. But right now, I'm going to roll in that intro. I'm going to pop back this truck up. And we're going to go through everything that's in it. See what I got to get. Uh, see what's needed for camping season. And go from there. So come back. Okay, so to tell you how long it's been since I've been in the back of this thing, Chloe's birthday in January because all of my lighting system and everything I used for her birthday party is still back here. That's sad. Um, main thing I wanna go through, well, I had something happen. Um, I've been in the back of it, I think the week before this, and had opened the back up and was going grabbing some things out um, and when i put everything back and shut the lid i didn't latch the lid it was like that for maybe a week or so and we had a storm come through and it blew the back half of the lid open and poured rain in the back half of the bed with all the gear in it so i need to go through everything make sure everything's cool I'm not worried about this tub here because this is my uh, uh, front runner pack. That thing is pretty, pretty sealed up. Um, these holes do not go through the box itself. That one might be concerned. May not like what I like what I see when I get in there. Rest of it, I'll check the sleeping bag. No, actually, I'm gonna pull the sleeping bag out, change sleeping bags for the early half of the year. I'll get a little warmer bag. Um, maybe going to some wood fires in the early half because it'll be much warmer than the firebox. The firebox is more or less for, I mean, you can get warm. Oh, there's all my lights. <laughs> Found them. Cool. Um, there's all my camp lights right there. That's what's in that bag. It's my, all my camp lights. So we'll get those out for sure because I'll set them up on the bench and get them charged. Um, what was I talking about? Squirrel? Anyway, I'll change out sleeping bags. Uh, the firebox is probably going to come out for this for a few couple months. Um, one thing we'll talk about with it real quick. Maybe I'll do its own video. Uh, I don't know. Let's just go through it right now. So the firebox is pretty cool. It'll warm you up, but not like a campfire will. Um, pretty sure we're going to be out of fire danger <laughs> for a while. Uh, all the rain we've had. Uh, the ground is just soaked right now. But um, I feel like um, firebox, yeah. It can come out for a little bit. We'll have some real wood fires. Like I said, the firebox is great. It's fast. It's fun. But there's nothing like a real true campfire camping. So anyways, I'm going to get some more stuff out. And I'll bring you back when I open this thing up. We'll see how bad it really is. One. Okay, so if you're wondering. Or hey, you ought to pick up one of these Mid-10 Outdoor t-shirts. There will be a link down below. Or actually, I'll put a little side card up. So if you're wondering, yeah, I need fuel. I need to get three or four fuel canisters. Let's just go ahead and get four. I know you can't see me right now. That's coming out. That's coming out. So I'm just gonna be using firewood. Hang on, I'll be back where you can see me. This is coming out. 
So if you're wondering what all entails, this can go in. When I'm using the fire, little fire pit, I have to have this big sucker and this. So that's two things coming out of the truck if I'm going to be using firewood. And what I'll do, I'll show you real quick. Why does it sound like they're drag racing diesel trucks up the street? Um, that's, is that wet? No, it's not wet. So what I'll do is I'll actually fill this back corner right here with firewood. Um, I have one bundle here already. I'll just have to get another bundle. Um, why is that out? Anyway, so you may be asking what's the difference between this sleeping bag and the one I just put in. That one is a goes down to 20 degrees. The other one goes down to 21 below. I don't need it right now. That's the one I will want for the next few weeks. Um, is this one. Huh, got a fire starter. Now look, I know where that was. This should be in this. I know you can't see nothing right now, I'm sorry. Just imagine with your own head what I'm actually doing over here. So, I wanna get this out, this out, this out. Turn it off, I'm filming. Anyway. Must be a Honda Civic. Um, so anyway, this is coming out. This is coming out. And this is coming out for now. And I'll put it in the garage. But that orange tub is what I want to see how much water got in the thing. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, let's see what kind of disaster we got. Now what I really want to see too is my cast iron pan. This is a wax covered bag on the inside. And I know the pan's pretty well oiled. But I do see some rust. I mean, crap. All right, so that's got to go in and get cleaned up. I don't know how that happened. That looks kind of bad. Shame on me. Oh, that's not good. That got wet and is moldy. So that's out. Um, that's out. That's moldy. Great. I got disaster. This is moldy. I don't need that. Let's go in the trash can. Everything in here is soaking wet. Because this is not waterproofed at all. And have you ever seen a handle do that? Crap. That means that got wet. All right, it looks like it is dried for the most part. I'll leave it sitting out for now. I don't see other mold. This is, this is tent steaks and stuff they sent with the old green goblin there. No, it's still got a lot of moisture in here. Shoot. All right, this is not good. The only electronics in this box, now this is my Fat Max, that's what she said. Um, that's got to go, that's done. The only electronics really in here, I got an extension cord, but it should be fine. But I've got this, and it's welded to the bottom or something. I don't know, it's just tangled. I keep this in the truck now, if I can get it out. I keep this in the truck and it's a little wet. We'll let it dry out. But basically, if I need power 
for the you know from the truck I can use power from the truck I'm not I'm not going to use this to microwave anything um, but it'll do some small electrical stuff that's why I keep it in there outside of that everything else looks fine I mean there's nothing in here really that would ruin except for that handful of stuff that hose and ain't gonna bother that all right well now we know what kind of condition everything's in may make me want to buy another one of those front runner um, boxes and put all this stuff in the front runner box from now on because it doesn't get wet but this thing it, it water ran down inside of it which I've got to clean up the axe handle now that's crazy and I just remembered my other cutting tools are not in here yeah they are they're in the cab now so I'll get that cleaned up and that'll go back in the cab that'll go in the cab too I thought it like the handle was bent but it's not all right all right guys let me check this other box the other thing I might do between now and then is change out the batteries in my rail light I thought about adding another one of those rail lights because I really like them on the inside of the truck. Bone dry. Bone dry. No moisture or nothing. Let me show you real quick. Bone dry in this front runner. That's why I highly recommend these front runner boxes. That thing that is bone dry in there. There's paper towels. They're bone dry. To the touch. Everything. They're bone dry. Can't beat them. I'm having to throw away a jacket and some other stuff because that box leaked, got water in it. So, no good. No moss, no moss. All right, guys. I know what I got to do. Got some work behind me, or in front of me, not behind me. But we know the front runner's fine. Everything is fine. I will have to take this in, reseason a little bit, clean it up. Stove should be fine. I mean, it's just a stove. I didn't put this shit back in there. I mean, it's stuff back in there. But that's what we got. Um, it's my own dang fault that all this happened because of that darn tonneau being left open. But uh, that's why you do this kind of thing well in advance before you actually go camping so i'm gonna get all this stuff taken care of go i need fuel gotta donate a new jacket to my box or for my truck which i probably won't i'll always have a jacket with me or a hoodie or something that's just a windbreaker that wasn't anything major jacket wise it's old anyway but sucks that it's ruined um fire kit was still dry because it was in plastic bag so it's not hurt uh, i'm trying to think what else was in there i saw everything else nothing to that except for this axe handle that that bothers me that that's funked up like it is but you know what i used uh, linseed oil on that so that may be the reason why that did that um that's why mold's stuck to the wood, I guess, or because it's wood. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. I um, got another pretty cool video coming out next week, and hopefully pretty soon we'll be camping. That's what all this is all about. See you on the next one. Be prepared.